Where are we right now? We're on a, we're in a castle. It is kind of a castle. Seen on English translations for it, that sometimes it does say castle, but we are at Gong San Song, which is uh, a fortress in Gongju. So I think I've already told you that fortress isn't like a English word. Yes. French in nature? Yeah, it's French. So do you know why we have a lot of French words in English? A long time ago, Vikings that settled in France, but they still kind of kept, they had their own kind of French and they were the Normans. And the Normans took over England for a long time. French was like the main language. So a lot of words were also borrowed from French from that time, because anytime that a language comes in contact with another language, uh, it borrows from each other. I remember 1066. I think that's the Battle of Hastings. Uh, yeah, it marks the Middle English period, because Old English was kind of different, quite Before different. That. Old English would be very difficult for us to understand. Middle English, like Chaucer, is intelligible. Geoffrey Chaucer? Yeah. His whole thing? Yeah. The King's Speech and all that? Yeah. So, do you know what fortress, what it would be in English? Like what it was in Middle English? No. It was a stronghold. Which for me, I think is a, is a much cooler name than fortress. I thought you were asking like, what was Fortress before Fortress? Like what, what would they call Kinda, it in yeah. Middle English? Yeah, that's exactly what I was asking. Stronghold. But it would have, it probably would have sounded more like Stronghold or something like that. Awesome, more French? No, no, more Old English-y. <laughs> so Fort means strength. Fort is French for strength. Fortress is a place of strength mm -hmm. and a str stronghold would be like a, basically the same thing. Ah, so that's why. Ah, so strength, like when they say fortify something or it's a fortification. Mm -hmm. ah. You did bring up something when you fortify something. Yeah. Like, what does that mean? It means to make stronger or to kind of build it up. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be like a, a building or a fortress. Like you could fortify your stamina. Yeah. Fortify your house. Fortify your stocks. You just make something stronger. If I say it's not my forte, what am I saying? So when you say that something's not your forte, it means it's not a strength of yours? It's like yeah. not, it's something you're not comfortable with. Something you're not comfortable with or something you're not good at. Dancing is not my forte. How about you? What's not your forte? Uh, speaking English is not my forte. Oh, uh, in America, you have Fort Knox. Yes. But it's not a normal fort. No. What is it? It's uh, where the U.S. Gold Reserve is. That's where we keep all our gold. And it has to be very fortified. Very fortified, yes. Yeah. Uh, but usually, you know, like we, there are different forts. Like uh, where I'm from in Georgia, we have Fort Benning, which is uh, army base. That's where when you first are a recruit for the army, that's where they send you for basic training. You know, when, when you think of different forts, it's kind of like just a military base, but Fort Knox is a bit special. Why do you have a, like a fortress for your gold? To make sure that our money has value. You need gold for, <laughs> You're I'm close. not sure this. You're actually close because America until the 1970s was on the gold standard, All right. which meant that uh, for every dollar that is in circulation, there is gold that it represents. Mm. So if at any point someone wanted to change in their money for gold, they could do that. The American needed a place to store all of it, storing a lot of gold, should probably have some protection, Fort Knox. I can't remember where I heard it, but uh, they said now that most countries don't actually have a gold standard or, no, no, or no, something no, like no. that. Money is all fake. The only reason that money works is because we all believe that it works. So essentially we're using our imagination Really? Yeah. 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 It's our imagination that makes money work. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. To think yeah. About. Like the, the history of money and like the, uh, federal reserve banking is it, really quite interesting. 
like how fickle it is. That's, that's just insane to think about. Fort idioms? Yeah, can you think of any? I don't know why I'm thinking of the word Fortnite. Sure, yeah. I think Fortnite probably comes from Fort in some way. How long is a Fortnite? Two, two nights? I'm actually not sure. 20. 20, 20 days. nights. 20 days. Yeah, Holy a cow. Fortnite is 20 days. The average length it took for you to get from one fort to another? Like, where, where do you think it comes from? I, I think it's probably something like that. Or maybe how long your post is, like how long that you have to stay ah. on duty, maybe. I'm going to look that up because that might be interesting. Here, ah, two weeks, not 20 days, two weeks. He was wrong. Was closer, though. He was wrong. Uh, I just want to say for the record that even though I wasn't right, he was wrong. 14 nights, some wages and salaries are paid on a fortnightly basis. All right, so I guess it's bi weekly. I am going to go over there. Can you hold the fort for a second? Yeah, that's a good <laughs> phrase. Uh, what is hold the fort? Uh, stay here and watch over whatever is happening here. Make sure nothing crazy happens. You don't let Deng Genghis Khan and the Mongols in. Holding something in this case doesn't mean like actually holding. It means protecting or keeping it the same. So holding the fort or holding down the fort means to protect it. To it, usually the fort is like your someone's house or station or something. Mm -hmm. So like me saying it now, hold down the fort. I would be like, you take care of doing the video. I'm gonna go over there. Okay. All right. This is now the ranger video. Get out. Oh yeah. no, we already did this once. We did this gag. Be like Fort Knox. Do you think comfort Man. has something to do with like forts? Comfort. comfort. Southern comfort and hospitality. Oh, it is. Uh, so we said that fort is French for strong. Yeah. Well, it comes from the Latin fortis or fortis. I don't know, which means strength. So comfort is, I don't know where come from comes from, but comfort means strength, strengthening, support, consolation, giving someone strength. This is where I make you feel uncomfortable by making you hold down the fort. Let's get the video. Ah!